so friends today i am going to discuss a very basic topic of metallurgy that is the cooling curve of pure iron so why did i say that this is a very basic topic very important topic because when you you are going to study about steels or the iron carbon diagram then you should know the basic idea about the cooling curve of pure iron because steel is nothing but it is just an alloy of carbon in iron so major constituent of steel is iron so in order to understand the iron carbon diagram and the behavior of different alloys at different compositions and at different temperatures the first thing we need to understand is the cooling curve of pure iron pure iron means in this case there is no carbon so this is the pure iron without the any carbon content so we'll see the behavior of pure iron with respect to temperature that what are the phase transformations that take place uh, due to the effect of temperature on the pure iron so i am saying it as the cooling curve because we are starting at a higher temperature and with the passage of time we are going to cool the temperature of the iron or in other words if we start from lower temperature and with the passage of time if we increase the temperature then it will become a heating curve so let us discuss the effect of temperature on the various phases of the pure iron so as we all know that the pure iron has a melting temperature of 1539 degree centigrade so above this temperature the iron exists as in liquid form so once you cool the temperature of the iron below 1539 degree centigrade then the solidified iron it will be it will be having a body centered cubic structure so what is body centered cubic structure that i will discuss in a separate lecture when we will discuss about the various types of lattice structures so iron below 1539 degree centigrade it is known as delta delta iron or delta ferrite and it has a body centered cubic structure so this type of structure remains up to 1400 degree centigrade so once the temperature is cooled below the 1400 degree centigrade the structure which was bcc earlier it changes to phase centered cubic structure that is called fcc and now this iron is called gamma iron or austenite so as we all know that the gamma or the austenite phase it is the main point of difference between the steels and cast irons so basically steels and cast irons they are divided according to the gamma phase which is present in steels but it is not present in cast irons so gamma austenite phase it is present up to approximately 910 degree centigrade and once you cool the temperature below 910 the structure again becomes body centered cubic structure and at this temperature the iron is called as alpha ferrite so it has a body centered cubic structure so up to 770 degree centigrade the iron is non magnetic in nature so once the temperature is cooled below 770 or in some books it is 768 767 degree centigrade once it is cooled below this temperature the iron becomes ferromagnetic that that is it, it acquires the magnetic properties it becomes highly magnetic so this temperature is also known as the curie temperature so we have seen in this discussion that these are the various forms of irons which are also called various allotropes of iron which are present at different temperatures so i hope you have understood the basic concept of this uh, cooling curve of pure iron because i think this is the prerequisite for understanding the uh, higher phase diagrams like iron carbon diagram and effect of studying effect of steel in iron so i hope all of you have understood this concept so in my next video i will be discussing some advanced concepts so thank you for now